In this video, I'll go through how you can configure the free Sonatel chat widget, which you can add to your website to allow customers to ask questions to your team. Start by going to app.sonatel.com. And from there on, click on the icon in the far left bottom corner of the screen, which uh, will show all the options available to you, and move to Company Settings. This brings you to the Teams page. Just move one step further down to the website chat and you will have all the different settings available for your free chat widget. We can start by looking at the Appearance page. And here we basically have on the right hand side the view uh, that will be shown to the customers while they are in a dialog. And here we can, for example, select if we want another color than the blue one, which is a default. So we can enter a code or just uh, select a color uh, from uh, the menu here. Additionally, we can choose if the widget should be shown in the upper section of the screen or the bottom section of the screen and to the left or to the right. The default is that it's to the right uh, on the bottom of the screen. And this is usually the most normal place to show a chat widget at a website. The other options relate to removing the Sonatel brand. You see it says powered by Sonatel here. Uh, you can only remove this if you are a premium customer. So if you try to remove this, you'll be offered to upgrade to Sonatel Premium. Now, by default, we show pictures or photos of uh, the employees that are actually handling the conversations with uh, your customers. Now, if you want to be more anonymous, uh, you can basically uncheck this and no images of your team will be shown. But we recommend that you show images because it provides a much nicer customer experience to your customers. Now, moving to the settings tab, we have a wide range of options here. Now, the first one is that we can actually disable the chat widget in its entirety. So by disabling this, we make sure that the chat widget is not offered to any more customers visiting our website. If we have this activated, we have the option of configuring when it should be shown. Uh, we can, for example, have it shown during business hours, uh, which is something we can define in our company profile. Or we can have it shown all the time, uh, but have it hidden whenever all users are busy. The chat widget has a function so that if no one answers their questions within a certain time, it'll offer the visitor to leave their email address and you'll be notified about the question and they will be notified when they get uh, a response from you when you're back at your desk the next day or when your team is available. So no questions get lost and the customer is able to return to your website and continue the dialogue once you or your team uh, become available. Now, to set your customers' expectations right, it's good if you can enter the approximate amount of minutes that it usually takes before you can provide a response. If it's five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, or one hour. The default is 20 minutes. But if there is a, any delay in providing a response to the customer, and we're talking about less than a minute, the customer will be offered to leave their email address so that you can get back to them later uh, with an offline response. Now, uh, we also have the option of showing a welcome message, which basically is an offer popping up on screen, asking the visitor if they have any questions that we can help them with. This is um, optional, and if we turn this off, uh, there will be no proactive message shown to your visitors, and they will have to click on the chat icon in order to get access to the chat functionality. We recommend that you show the welcome message, but that you show it after 30 seconds and that you only show it once. If you want to edit the text shown in the welcome message, you can do so here. And you could also add versions for other languages. The Sonatel chat widget will automatically be shown in the language of the web page where you install it. So if you have a website with multiple language versions, the chat widget will automatically be shown in the correct language at the different pages. Now, if you also use the welcome message, you should then add texts for the different languages so that the welcome message can be shown in the correct language as well. Now, 
you also have the option to ask your visitors for feedback after the conversation is completed. And that is basically when you or your team member closes the conversation at the end of the conversation with a customer. Then the customer will see uh, this type of dialogue box allowing them to rate the conversation and you can choose if they should be allowed to do so or not. They will also be allowed to enter a textual feedback uh, regarding the service they have received. You also have uh, the ability to offer uh, customers the ability to leave their email address or mobile number if they don't want to wait for a response. This happens after a short uh, moment of time uh, if there's no response from your team. So this pops up um, an optional email entry box allowing the customer to leave their email address and leave your site and then get notified when there is an answer from you or your team. And finally, uh, there is an optional offer for the customer to get a copy of the chat log, the conversation that they've had with you or your team. And if this is activated, uh, they will be offered to leave their email address to get a copy of the chat log and it will be delivered to their email address. So those are the things you have available on the settings page. Now the final setting that you have available here is the conversations page. And here's basically where you select which team within your Sonatel account that should get the conversations that come in from the chat widget. The default is that your entire team inbox gets these conversations, but you can, in the Teams page, define additional teams to which you then can refer incoming conversations. So by doing it this way, we now make sure that incoming customer conversations go to the customer service team and not to the uh, inbox which is shared by the entire company. Now, two more things that you really should do before you get started. That is to move to the general settings and make sure that you have a, a logotype added and that your company name is correct, as this will be shown in the interface for your customers at your website. So this is basically how you configure uh, your Sonatel chat widget to allow your customers to ask questions to your team when they visit your website.